6.5 population growth in this section. There's two types of growth. You've got exponential growth and you've got uh, logistics growth. Uh, so exponential population might be 1,000 e to the 0.02t, where p is the population, t is the time. So that's the general equation um, or the population equation for this one. If you wanted the differential equation for this scenario, you'd find dp dt, and it's the same thing. Uh, thousand floats e to the u is just itself times the derivative of the exponent which is 0 0.02 so turns out to be dp dt equals 0 0.02 and all of that is p so the relative growth rate um, is 2% so this right here is the growth rate times the population is the rate of change of the population. So it uh, looks like it's going up 2%. Um, if I was going to graph on a slope field what exponentials look like, you've got the exponential growths that kind of look like this. And then you've got, so kind of like that would be um, a population growth representation exponentially. Um, the other is logistics. So the general formula for logistics is population equals M, which represents the maximum or the carrying capacity um, carrying capacity or the maximum so like the population can't exceed whatever M is uh, A is just a it's a constant and K is a constant T is the time um, if you found the derivative um, there's a couple different versions of it. dpdt equals k p1 minus p over m. And if you factored out a 1 over m from it, a, just a different version of the same thing would be k over m p times m minus p. These are the same things. And we could prove um, that this is a differential equation by separating the variables, moving them to the other side, integrating, and through quite a long process, you would get the original equation. Um, so same thing, if you find the derivative, you end up getting there. And I can do that for you sometime. In fact, here's my work with it. Told you it was kind of involved. So you have to do partial fractions, you have to do system equation, you have to, there's a trick here where if you have P over M minus P, you want it to be P over M minus P, so you take it to the negative one, so then you can separate them, but eventually you get that right there, which is what we, the original equation is. All right, um, and as far as the, the slope field, um, the logistics growth has two horizontal asymptotes, um, so kind of think of it as right there and right there, so they kind of, you can see that this right here would be the M, that's the capacity, um, sorry, so let's say we've got Oh, I don't know, we're an island and we put um, polar bears on the island. Well, you can't have, it's not going to grow exponentially where there's going to end up being a million polar bears on the island because there's not enough food to support it. So based on the environment, there would be a capacity which would be the maximum amount of polar bears. So 
knowing what M is, you could create a model to um, represent the growth of the polar bears on an island. Um, I think that might be all for now.